Our story embarks on a journey quite grand. It's about a leprechaun in leprechaun land. A leprechaun named Stanley was feeling quite gay. As he said to himself, Oh, what a fine day! He saw a large hill, and down it he rolled. Just then Stanley said, I've forgotten me gold! He looked all around, his gold nowhere in sight. Our leprechaun friend hoped his gold was alright. He started to panic, worry and frown. I must find me gold before the sun goes down. Just then, a large hairy figure came out from the black, and without hesitation began to attack. A werewolf it was that started this fight. He saw Stanley's arm and took a large bite. The werewolf attacked, and in seconds was gone. This turned our friend Stanley into a werepercon. Without me gold, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, this is just a small setback. I've got to push through. Push through it he did, and he got back on track, despite his new claws and the hair on his back. He just kept walking, feeling quite strong. As he said to himself, What else could go wrong? He was just walking, without a care. Just then a vampire flew down from the air. It landed on Stanley with a loud thud, then latched onto his neck and began to suck blood. Get off me now! Step off! Go away! Oh, I just can't afford another delay! He wanted his gold, that's all he desired, but has now turned into a wear per pyre. Without me gold, I don't know what I'd do. This is just a small setback. I've got to push through. His shirt was now filled with hair and blood stains, as one more monster screamed out, This thing was a zombie with bloodthirsty eyes. And then Stanley said, Oh, what a surprise. The zombie attacked him with fury quite blind, transforming Stan into one of his kind. And just as the day had finally retired, Am I seriously a zombie werepercon buyer? Said our pal Stanley, who felt all alone. He decided to pick himself up and go home. He arrived at his village and was greeted by Frank. Oh, hi there, Stanley. Here are golds in the bank. I saw the resting with known on guard and decided to watch it, but the job was too hard. So I stored it away right on the double. I hope my decision caused you no trouble. <laughs>